Hi, this is Cheryl from Lottie's Art, and we're going to have a little fun today, I think. So, what this is, is another one of my series like Furiosa and Ray of uh, silhouettes with scenes of, you know, kick-ass women heroes from film and TV. And this one's Jessica Jones, and this has been all masked off and then I did the black background, so it's probably hard to, at the moment, see the, uh, picture, but it's Jessica confronting Kilgrave. So what we're going to do is, you know, uh, snazzy up the background a little bit. So what I have here is three little cups of acrylic paint, and these are mixed with, um, it's called pouring medium, and a little bit of water and I have a little pipette, so what we're going to do is fill the pipette with some nice liquidy paint and drip it onto the painting. So the idea will be, this is on an angle, paint should start flowing down the uh, Paper once we're ready. The last bit in the other thing is the core. There we go. That's a little bit of ultramarine blue. And this is pale blue. All this is also added a little bit of white. Just because uh, the three colors, um, phthalo green, phthalo blue, and ultramarine blue, are transparent acrylics, so they wouldn't show up terribly well on the black. So I added just like a tiny drop of white paint. Nice and simple. Add the silicone polish on the side. Yep. That's the whole idea better. Yeah. So now the last thing I want to do. That's a my streaky and rotate this. Press a brush. Where spattering is. Well, that's the same technique I used on the uh, painting of Ray from Star Wars. Just with uh, more liquidy paint and the same color as the drips rather than you know, white and light blue stars. The fact that this is a more liquidy paint will mean these splatters are a bit thicker. Alright. So, so <laughs> As this dries, it should get more transparent. And take this to a little clay shaper. Usually use it for a clay. As this dries, the paint should get more transparent. Be nice. Um, 
if it's bouncing right now. I want the colors to be a little more subtle than they are right now, which they should be. And right now I'm just going with the closures and kind of blending and shaping its lips just a little bit. Which is a nice thing, just a little thing, because it doesn't leave, you know, regular kind of crush type marks. Alright, I think I'm going to leave that just like that, and leave it for, you know, 15, 20 minutes to dry, it's acrylic, so it should dry fairly fast, and then uh, come back and pull the masking off, and you can see the finished painting. Okay, back, so that uh, 15, 20 minutes turned then out to be about an hour and a half, and there's still a few little damp spots. Um, which is the uh, pouring medium, I guess, that stays, keeps acrylic wet a lot longer than I'm used to. But it's uh, pretty much dry in most of the places that are important. Um, uh oh. Yeah, a little bit of uh, paper, especially right there. Alright, so <laughs> we're going to lift up the. Uh, Masking fluid going. Usually it's kind of crazy, but now for once, there we go. Alright. Up comes the masking fluid. Alright, so that's more or less <laughs> peeled off. A little more trouble than I expected, but uh, otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm really just enjoying this series of paintings. There's just the ones. Alright. So, that's that then. Thank you for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, if you're interested in this painting or any of the others in this series, um, they will be available at any of the Comic Cons that I'm at this year. Um, first one coming up is Bangor Comic and Toy Con in April, and I will also be at Boston Comic Con this year. So I hope to see you there. Goodbye.